We'll move on to another issue and I suppose when we're talking about discrimination and anti-racism this is something that's uh, slightly related because we're talking about discrimination for people uh, with disabilities really and a wheelchair user was told by bus errand by bus errand driver that he needed to book his seat on a regional route in County Meath 24 hours in advance before being asked can you get out of that thing referring to his wheelchair. I'm joined by Vanessa Monaghan a blogger and a radio producer originally from outside Kells now living in London uh, who's written about this and uh, Vanessa, this incident very shocking. It happened in County Meath, um, but I, I suppose for a lot of people, for me uh, certainly, anyway, it's an education that if you're in a wheelchair, that you have to book your seat ahead. Yeah, well, it's th- this actually happened last Friday week, so I think it was the second of July. Um, I was at home. I was going to Dublin on the bus, and um, the, the young guy was in Dunshopping with his two friends trying to get on the bus, and. What the really shocking thing for me was, one, this young guy was was made feel inadequate. Um, I was embarrassed, so I'm sure he felt even worse. And um, we're not, we're as a society, we're not, we don't treat each other equally. We're supposed to treat each other equally. Everyone is supposed to to be on the same level playing field, and um, we don't do that. And even when he was trying to get on the bus. The, the double-decker coaches, the seats are too wide, so he couldn't even wheel the chair down the bus fully. He had to get his friends, who were two girls, I'd say late teens, early 20s again, to actually physically lift him from his wheelchair into a coach seat. And I'm sorry, but that's just not good enough. This happened, you were travelling on the 109 service, it happened at Dunshockland. Um, the bus pulled up, but it wasn't a, a bus that was, uh, I suppose, catered for specifically for a wheelchair. This has to be organised 24 hours in advance. Um, but it was the way he was treated, really, Vanessa, for you that that was wrong. Well, I think the first the first thing is um, the, the driver just said, uh, have you booked? And he was like, no, I don't. Why, why would I book? And, oh, you have to book 24 hours in advance. We've no room for you. And the young guy said that um, he normally drives everywhere. You know that he, I presume he's from the area, but he said that he normally drives uh, everywhere. And on this occasion, he was getting the bus to Dublin. And it was just when the driver turned around and asked him if he could get out of that thing. Can you get out of that thing? Can you, you know, can you walk, basically? Um, He's in a wheelchair. He's in a wheelchair for a reason. You shouldn't be asking someone if they can get out of a wheelchair, if they're using a wheelchair. You know, that that's, it's just basic common courtesy someone is in a wheelchair for a reason and the the least we can do is try and make sure that our public transport system lets them use the wheelchair that is supposed to give them the freedom to get around and the freedom to to interact in society as well as just as well as any able-bodied person we should be giving them that freedom and not allowing a wheelchair to take that freedom away from them. Uh, just as I suppose, as a as a note, um, that bus air. If you're if you're a bus air and user in Cork, Limerick, Waterford, Galway, or Sligo, um, and you're a wheelchair user, you have 100 percent of uh, use of the buses there. But in the rest of the country, and uh, that includes us here in the northeast, the the buses are 67 percent accessible for those that are using wheelchairs. So look, uh, Vanessa, I appreciate you, you uh, relaying the story to us today because it is it does raise a very serious point as to whether people in, in wheelchairs are treated differently and in this case the, he, this man definitely was and um, it's something that really uh, sparked outrage for you yeah I mean it's I felt helpless I felt helpless I I really wanted to scream and shout but I we have to remember that there's a young guy involved there's a young guy at the center of this and it wasn't the time or the place to embarrass him any more than he already was he was relying on his friends to lift him from his wheelchair into a coach seat. And I'm sorry, it's just not good enough. It's just not good enough. And he never moaned. He never complained. I have the highest amount of respect for this young gentleman because he just acted, and along with his friends, they acted with such dignity when they had to, to face this challenge. And unfortunately, unfortunately, they did have to. But... There should be something, there should be some way of, 
you know, th- this driver said that there was a 24-hour um, booking period. Now, I have spoken to Bus Air and I have made an official complaint about this. Um, th- there should be some way, even though I do understand that there are commuter buses and that they want to pack in all the people and get them down to Kells and after work and get them up to Kells, there should be a way that we as a society can incorporate facilities to look after our wheelchair and disabled people. Have you had just any res- response from Bus Aaron just as a matter of interest? I have had a response from Bus Aaron. I was speaking to someone during the week. They said that they were investigating who the driver was and what model of bus was used on the route. Seemingly, there's two mo- different bo- models of bus that are used on the route. Um, as, as I said, it, it angered me a lot. That's why I wrote a blog post. Um, I've also told Bus Aaron that if if there's media outlets like yourselves who have covered it or, or who are willing to highlight this issue, if Bus Aaron come along and do something about it and make that change, I will more than happily go back to each outlet or go back to a website who has said, hey, you know, you've written this blog post. Um, I will go back to each of those and I will say, Bus Aaron have rectified this. Um if they do something, I would more than happily do that to show that they are doing something, but I want them to do something. I want to make sure that every bus on the 109 route has a wheelchair accessible space. Okay, That's all I'm looking for. Fair play to you. Vanessa Monaghan there, blogger and radio producer, originally from Kells, from the Kells area, now living in London and witnessed that incident on the 109 service in Dunshockland. We have asked uh, Bus Aaron for a comment on that. We have had no response as of yet, but we will keep trying. We will press that issue. Um, if you are living in an area, we'd love to hear from you. Perhaps you are a wheelchair user. Uh, I know that actually in the Meath area, they're serviced by Flexibus and there is something similar in Louds that can help people uh, with disabilities get around but we'd love to hear your experience if this is something that you've experienced perhaps you travel on the 109 and perhaps you know about this 24 hour booking period uh, for those that use wheelchairs um, but let us know 1850 715 958